In this episode of Auto Mower Answers, we discuss how to create multiple zones using one mower so you can get complete lawn coverage. This is a topic that we get asked about quite a bit, and it is a bit confusing if you're unsure how this works or if the dealer or whoever you bought the mower from didn't really explain it or you couldn't really quite understand the uh, way it was explained in the owner's manual. So we're going to show you here how you can create remote start points and create your different zones or areas within your working area for your auto mower. This way you get complete lawn coverage using one unit. So we're going to start with the easiest way to create multiple zones inside the auto mower's working area. And the easiest way to do that is using the guide wires. So if you remember back to when we explained the differences between the 430X and the 315X and why it was worth it to spend that extra money on the 430X just to get that second guide wire, you're going to see here again, this is a big benefit of having that extra guide wire. And if you have a 450X, it's even better because it has three guide wires. So the easiest way to set up multiple zones for your mower is by using the Auto Mower app. So what you got to do is open up your app, go up to Settings. Then in the Settings menu, you want to choose Installation. So in Installation, then you want to choose Lawn Coverage. Now you're going to want to turn off your GPS assisted navigation. This will allow you to start setting up your different areas using your guide wires, perimeter wires, and entering in a distance that the mower needs to travel on those wires. So to activate your different areas using the app, you want to first turn that area on, then you want to use the slider under the word follow, and that will help you select whether guide wire or perimeter wire to use to send the mower out. And then under distance from charging station, use the slider there to set your distance on how far it's going to go on that wire before it stops and starts to mow. So again, how do you figure out that distance it needs to go? Well, we mentioned using a measuring wheel and things like that. But what if I told you, you could also use the mower to figure that out. That's right. You can use the mower to figure out the distance from the charging station. So we're going to show you that plus how to set all this up on the mower itself. How do you use the mower to measure that distance, you ask? Well, simple. You start out by reading the technical manual. And right here, this is straight from the technical manual. It explains how you use the mower to measure that distance that it's going to need to travel on the perimeter wire or the guide wire to get to the area where you want it to start mowing. Okay, so you're in your mower's menu, and you want to go to installation. That's one of the arrow pointing down towards the blades of grass. And when you have it highlighted, hit OK. You want to choose lawn coverage. It's already highlighted, so hit OK. Then down here you see it says GPS auto, but the disabled GPS navigation is highlighted. And so you want to you want to disable that GPS navigation. So hit OK, and it's going to ask you yes or no. And you can use your left and right arrows to pick yes or no. You want to highlight yes. So we got yes highlighted, and we want to hit OK. Now, here's where you got your different, your different areas, and you can pick which area that you want to set up by using your left and right arrow arrows on the uh, keypad. So we're going to do area one, keep this real simple and easy for you guys to follow along with. So we got area one highlighted. We're going to hit OK, and you can use your left and right arrows where it's asking you how. We see guide one's highlighted. You can go through and you choose guide one, two, and three. Um, of course, you get three of them on this one because it's a 450X. If you had a 300 series, you would only have the option for the one um, guide wire. Now, the left and right, of course, is your boundary wire, your perimeter wire. So if you're not sure which one's which, look at the back of the charging station. They're clearly marked AR and AL. And left or L is for left, right is the R on there. So pretty self-explanatory. So we're going to make this one like the picture that we're using, that we're showing you guys. And we're going to set up area one to use guide wire one. And we're going to come down here. And how far we want it to go, we're going to say we want it to go 132. Whoops. Kind of skipped ahead there. We waited too long. We're going to say 132 yards. Ah, messed it up again. Yeah, I move kind of quick there, but as you can see, you can always go back up to it and redo it. See, this will time out. After you have um, two digits in there, it'll actually time out and move down to percent. So you want to make sure that you're actually paying attention to this. So we're going to go back up here. 
we're going to say 132 yards. So now, the percentage that it's asking you for there, when it says how often, that's how many times when it comes off the charging station do you want it to go to that area? Or what percent of time leaving the charging station do you want it to go there? If you only got two areas, you can set it, you know, set up both of them to 50%. Um, if you want to go to the one because the one's bigger than the other, uh, you can, you know, 25 and uh, 75 or, you know, however you want to do it. But here we want to go to this one area. Um, we're going to say, let's say 30% of the time because that's a nice even number. Yep, again there, it wasn't fast enough. So we go three, zero. All right, 30%. Now, you don't want it to disable this because you're setting this up. So, if you just hit the back button now, we'll do that right now to show you. Go back. There you go. It's got area one set up. It's saying you're going to come out of the charging station and use guide one, and it's going to do it 30% of the time. So, now to get back into this, area one is highlighted there. You see that? So, we're just going to hit OK. So, we're going to go down here and Go down through everything and go over and highlight more. If we hit OK on more. Now, this is where you can test it. So, if you don't know the distance, let's go back here. If you don't know the exact distance on how far you want this mower to travel out that guide wire to get to that first area that you want to mow, then this is where you can use the mower to make that measurement for you. If you've used a measuring wheel, during your installation and you have a pretty good idea of how far this mower has to travel out that guide wire and then stop and start mowing for that area then you can just enter that in so 132 yards you know if, if you don't know how many how many feet that is do the math just multiply it times three so that's how many feet you got um but at any rate we know that this is how far we want this thing to go so we're okay with that but if you don't know then this is where it comes into play. You would want to set that number there, the 132 yards, say set it to like 150 yards. That way it goes beyond where you want it to actually start mowing at. And the reason for that is when you go into more and you hit test, it's going to come out of the charging station and it's going to travel that 150 yards on that guide wire. So when it gets to the spot where you want it to actually stop, and start to mow at, all you're going to do is stop the mower. And then you're going to be able to get a number there for the distance. So then you'll go back in and uh, you'll go back into here and you'll enter that number in. And then that'll give you the exact distance that the mower is going to travel on that guide wire. And then it's just going to stop traveling and it's going to start mowing right there at that spot. Follow me? Pretty self-explanatory, right? You know, you get this set up. If you don't know your number, then put in a number that's higher than what you think it should be. Go down here to more. Put the mower in the charging station. And hit OK on test. And it'll do its thing. And it'll make the measurement for you. So, we'll go back. You can see there, it's got that area set up. We could go over here and we could, cho we could choose area 2. And, uh... We could pick for it to, you know, travel one of the one of the boundary wires that we want to, um, and we can set up, uh, you know, 158 yards, and we can do that one say 53 percent of the time, and we can do the same thing. We can go over here to more, and if we want to test that, the motor will come out of the charging station. And it will travel on that boundary wire that far. And if you want it to mow somewhere along that, if you want it to start mowing somewhere along that boundary wire, when it gets to that spot where you want it to start mowing, just stop the mower and take that number that you see on the mower screen there and then enter that for your distance back here. Just come back, go up to the 157 yards, and turns out it's only 135 yards. So there you go. You don't have to hit save or anything like that. Just go back and it's already there. And you can keep going through here and you can set up all the different areas that it allows you to have. So that's how you do it on the mower. Um, 
pretty simple. When you read those instructions in the manual, it sounds kind of complicated because they throw the X in there a lot of times. And they're just using that X as a variable. But there it is. That's how you do it on the mower. So what does all this stuff actually look like? Well, on our drawing here, we have an auto mower and we have one guide wire that we're using. And you can see our perimeter wire there. So let's say that this is a 315X where you can only use one guide wire. Now, you probably should lay it out the way that this is laid out. We're using that guide wire to get through that narrow passageway there between your shed and your house. But that guide wire, where it is going and where it connects into the perimeter wire, anywhere along that guide wire could be our area one. That's the way we were setting it up. Remember, we we're using guide wire one for area one. So we come out from the charging station, you know, so many feet, and that's where that mower is going to stop running on the guide wire, and it's going to turn the blades on. It's going to start mowing. That's our area one that we set up. So now we want to put another area in here. Let's say we want to have something uh, back there by that tree up in the corner. What we can do there, because we can't use another guide wire since it's a 315X and you can only have one guide wire on there, we'll use the perimeter wire. We'll use our left perimeter wire to have the mower drive right along the side of the house and go over there and start by that, that area between the shed, the tree, and the house. And we'll have that as area two. So then we can use the right, the right perimeter wire and we'll make the mower travel it so far along and we'll use that as area three. The rest of the time, it'll just be the mower coming off the charging station and just starting right there. So we've just now created four areas with one guide wire. Now we're assured of total lawn coverage. We don't have to worry about one area not getting mowed enough or one area getting too much attention or anything like that. We've just made this mower way more efficient because we're controlling what areas it's going to and we're matching that up based on the growth rate of your lawn. Once the lawn mower learns all of these different areas, then you might be able to switch it back to GPS mowing if your yard is open enough. But in areas where you have tight corridors that the mower has to go through, to actually get out there to where it has to mow, you're probably going to have to leave it set up like this. If you want the mower to actually work efficiently, you know, it, it doesn't hurt it to be set up this way. It puts you more in control of it. So you don't have to worry about some areas getting out of hand or something like that, or not being, you know, taken care of as much as you think they should be. But once you set this up, you don't really have to change it unless it's really just bugging you that one area hasn't been getting mowed enough then you can go back through and you can adjust the percentages. But once you have the areas set up, you don't have to mess with them again if you don't want to. So this is the basic way here of doing it and the easiest way to show you. You know, you use one wire for each zone you're creating. But in reality, you can use one wire multiple times for your different zones. So like area two, where we're coming out there along that left boundary wire, we could actually use another spot on the guide wire for that mower to stop and start mowing. We could put three spots on that guide wire if we wanted to. We could put another one in that corridor. We could put one out there where area two is at and one where area one is. Same way with your perimeter wires. You can make multiple stops along those perimeter wires. You've got all those different zones that you can create with your mower. When you go into the app, you'll see, you know, you got one, two, three, four, five, however many your mower allows for. And you can pick whatever wire you want to use. So don't think you're limited to just using a wire one time and that is it. So as always, we hope we were able to help you guys out, teach you something new here. Hopefully you have a better understanding of how to create the different areas and zones for your auto mower and get the most out of it. If you have any more questions, just you know, feel free to leave a comment, shoot us an email, automowerinfo at gmail.com. And be sure to subscribe. Keep checking back because we've got a lot more videos coming out in the coming weeks. So thanks for watching and we'll be talking to you soon.